Hi, I'm Michael Logue, director of our electric product segment. Today, we're in the Census Demo Lab, and we'll be demoing four DA applications using our ignition SCADA package integrated into automation control software. It's easy to integrate into SCADA packages with Census DA using our DMP3 protocol communication. Our first demonstration will be lowering the voltage on a regulator out on our distribution feeder. So here we are in the automation control software. We're logged in on a Beckwith line regulator controller. Let's look over here to the right. Our communication status is active. Green is good. We're online with the Beckwith controller and we've got good signal strength. Let's come down here and we can see the voltage out on the feeder right now is 124.5 volts. Let's switch over to our SCADA software. This is an ignition SCADA package. We've got voltage out on the feeder and we've got our current set point. Now what we want to do right now is lower the voltage. Let's take it down to 116 volts. We've successfully lowered it to 115.9 volts. We're doing this during a peak event to help our utility save power. In this demo, we will be opening a capacitor bank. So we're in our ignition SCADA package. We're gonna manually open our capacitor bank. Let me click on open. Our capacitor bank is open. And now if we come over here and look at our capacitor bank, we've gone green, capacitor bank is opening. In this demonstration, we're monitoring the water level in our water tower tank using our ignition SCADA package. We're going to communicate over the FlexNet system to a Siemens Hydro Ranger water monitor. We'll watch for the level of water in the tank. Uh-oh, we've just got an alarm that our water level has dropped too low. Let's fill up the tank. Sometimes faults occur on the electric system, like a tree contacting the electric wires. FlexNet technology enables the FCI to talk to the utility quickly to find the location of a fault and dispatch repair crews to the site. I'm on my automation control software. I'm communicating to a Navicom fault current indicator. As we can see here, our FCI number one is in the normal position. I'm switching over to my ignition SCADA package, and I'm going to use it to simulate a fault on the distribution line. We can see here a tree is brushing the line. It's causing a fault. Our fault current indicator is blinking. It's communicating to the FlexNet system to send that information quickly back to the utility via the automation control software. As you've now seen, the Census DA technology adds intelligence and communication to various field devices. This enables utilities to improve operational efficiency and save time and money.